Hello everyone, welcome to the first lecture of our graphic designing class. I am Ishwara from Webit Hire and I'll guide you through this course. Be sure to subscribe to Webit Hire and turn on notifications for updates on new lectures and free classes. This course is designed for anyone wanting to start a career in graphic designing, no matter your age or profession. Whether you are a student or a homemaker, everyone is welcome. This class consists of 10 lectures providing a solid foundation in graphic design. By the end of this lecture, you will understand graphic designing very well. Also, this class includes a certificate as well, but the certificate will be available to Wabbit Hire members. However, learning is available for free to everyone around the world. All those who signed up for Wabbit Hire members will get an assignment for each and every lecture that they have to submit as per the given deadline in order to get their certificate. Lecture 1 will not have any assignment. There will be a total of 9 assignments you will get throughout the class. All the assignment links will be sent to the Telegram group along with the submission link. Anyone who missed out on joining as a Wabbit Hire member can join before the second lecture goes live. Alright, let's kick things off with the most important question. What exactly is graphic design? At its core, graphic design is a visual communication. What does that mean? Simply put, graphic design is the use of text, images and design elements like shapes, colors and spaces to communicate ideas, messages and stories. It's like speaking to someone but with visuals instead of words. When you open an app, scroll through a website or see a billboard, you are experiencing graphic design. You might not think about it, but design is everywhere. And it's not just making things look good, though that's certainly part of it. The primary goal of graphic design is to communicate a message very clearly. Think of it this way. If you're walking through a store, you might be drawn to a product by its packaging design. If you are on a website, you are likely to stay longer if the layout is user-friendly and aesthetically pleasing. And if you are browsing social media, an eye-catching post might grab your attention and make you stop scrolling. But here's where graphic design gets interesting. It's not just about aesthetics, it's about effectiveness. Good design just doesn't look nice, it conveys ideas, influences decisions and solves problems. It's a form of problem solving where the goal is to make something visually clear and impactful for the viewer. Now that we know what graphic design is, let's take a look at its history and how it's evolved over time. Understanding the roots of graphic design helps us appreciate the depth and riches of the field. I can bet no one can have ever talked about the history of graphic design. Graphic design didn't start with computers. In fact, its origins trace all the way back to cave paintings where early humans used images and symbols to communicate. Think about it. Ancient cave dwellers didn't have written language, but they used visual storytelling to convey ideas to others. Here are some key turning points for graphic designing. First, the printing press in the 15th century. Jonas Gutenberg's invention of the printing press revolutionized design by making mass production of books possible, making typography and page layout crucial to printed materials. Then is the Bahuas movement in 1919 to 1933. The Bahuas Design School in Germany promoted simplicity, functionality and the integration of art and technology, influencing modern design with a focus on geometry and space. Then was the digital revolution, late 20th century. The rise of computer softwares like Photoshop, Illustrator and Figma transformed the graphic design by offering unprecedented flexibility and tools for creating complex design. From cave drawings to today's digital design, graphic design has continuously evolved, adapted to the technologies, cultural shifts of the each era. Now that we understand what graphic design is and where it came from, let's talk about why we design in the first place. What is the real purpose of designing? Design isn't just about looking nice, it's about achieving goals. Here are the four main purposes of graphic design. First is inform. One of the design's primary function is to communicate information clearly and effectively. Instructional guides, road signs and infographics all rely on design to present information in an easy to understand way. Without good designs, the message can become confusing or lost. Then is Persuade. Design is often used to persuade action, whether it's a social media ad, brochure or website landing page. Graphic design encourages people to act, buy a product, sign up for a service or subscribe to a newsletter. A bold call to action button, for instance, guides users to take action. Then is Entertainment. Design can be fun. 
animated banners, interactive website elements and movie posters are all created to entertain and engage viewers. Good entertainment based designs grabs attention, builds excitement, creates memorable experiences. Then is education. Design is a powerful educational tool. Textbooks, tutorial videos and online courses use design to simplify complex information. Well designed charts and diagrams make use of different topics to make it easier. So to sum up, design isn't just about making things look nice. It's about informing, persuading, entertaining and most of all educating. These four are the heart of every design project you will encounter. When we talk about graphic design, we are not just talking about one thing. There are different types of graphic designs that focus on various areas. Let's break them down. First is branding and identity. Branding is about creating a unique visual identity for a company or individual. This includes logos, the visual representation of a brand, business cards, the first impression people get out of a company, stationery like letterheads, envelopes, etc brand guidelines, the rules of using logos, colors, fonts, etc. Branding aims to create a consistent and recognizable identity that makes a brand stand out. Second is marketing and advertising. Design in this area is all about getting people's attention and driving them to take a action. This includes social media graphics like Facebook posts and Instagram posts, brochures, informational pamphlets that help promote a product or a service, posters and flyers, used to promote events or causes. The goal here is to persuade the audience to get them interested in the product or service. Third is UI UX design. This is one of the most important and rapidly growing areas of design today. It stands for user interface and user experiences. UI design focuses on the look and feel of digital products like website and apps. UX design focuses on how easy and pleasant it is to use for the product. The goal is to create designs that are user friendly, intuitive and engaging. For this editorial designs, this type of design is used in print and digital media. It includes magazine, books, newspapers or newsletters. Editorial designers focus on the layout, typography and visual appeal of the printed or online publications. It's all about presenting text and images in a way that's visually appealing and easy to read. Fifth is packaging design. Packaging design is a crucial part of product marketing. The packaging is the first thing a customer sees on the shelf and good designs make it stand out. It includes product labels, boxes and bags. Packaging design needs to balance aesthetics with functionality. Example how easy it is to open a package. Then comes motion graphics. Motion graphics combine design with movements to create animations or video elements. These could be animated ads, explainer videos, logo animators, etc. The power of motion design lies in its ability to engage viewers and convey information in a dynamic and entertaining way. Now that we have explored the different areas of graphic design, let's talk about the skills you will need to succeed. First is creativity with problem solving. Being a graphic designer requires you to think out of the box and come up with creative solutions. Design is all about problem solving. Whether it's how to make a website easy to navigate or how to create an eye-catching poster. Creativity is about finding new ways to solve problems. Then comes visual hierarchy. Understanding visual hierarchy is key to effective design. It is all about knowing how to organize your design elements like text, images and icons so that the viewer's eye is naturally drawn to the most important parts first. For example, headlines should be bigger than the body text because they need to stand out. Then is color theory and typography. Design involves a lot of thinking about the color and the type. Color theory helps you to understand how colors work together to create certain moods or evoke emotions. Typography is the art of arranging fonts in a way that's visually appealing and readable. Fourth is communication with clients. Fourth is communication with clients and teams. Design isn't just about creating, it's about collaboration. You will often work with clients, teams and other stakeholders. Good designers are great at explaining their ideas, taking feedback and adjusting their designs based on the client's needs. To wrap up, let's discuss the designer's mindset. Being a graphic designer isn't just about technical skills, it's about how you think as a designer. The design process is often referred to as, as a design thinking which involves these stages. First is empathy, understanding the problem and the user's needs. Second is define. 
narrowing down on the problems you are solving. Third, ideate, brainstorming creative solutions. Fourth, prototype, creating rough ideas or wireframes of your ideas. Fifth, testing, gathering feedback and improving your design. Remember, design is a process. It's not about instant results or magic. It's about refining ideas, getting feedback and improving continuously. Now, before we finish, let's bust a few myths around graphic design. First myth is, if you use Canva, you are a graphic designer. But in reality, Canva is a great tool, but it's just a tool. Being a designer involves understanding compositions, typography and problem solving. Myth 2. Graphic design is only for creative people. But in reality, design is a learnable skill. It's about process, logic and consistency, not just creativity or being good at drawing. Third myth is, design is all about looking pretty. In reality, design is about communication first and aesthetic second. It needs to work before it looks good. So there you have it. Graphic design is a fascinating blend of creativity, communication and problem solving. It's not just about making things look pretty. It's about crafting visuals that communicate a message very clearly and effectively. Keep these principles in mind and in the next session, we will dive deeper into the design process and how to get started creating your own projects. We are going to focus on the tools in the second lecture. Which tools you have to use? What is the tool for different different tools? How many tools you will use? Basically everything about tools. That's it for the first lecture. I will see you in the second lecture. Do make sure to subscribe to Webit Hire and turn on the notifications in order to get updates on the new lectures. If you have any suggestions, drop them in the comment section. And if you want certificates, do sign up for Webit Hire members before the second lecture goes up.